Hi, this is Carol Springer from Gabriel Sales. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to create a prospect in Pardot. So hopefully you are now in the Pardot Lightning called also Account Engagement Lightning. And so if you work in Salesforce some of the time, you may be in a different app other than, other than Account Engagement. So I'm gonna to go to my Account Engagement app and at the top here, you should he see a variety of um, navigation items, prospect, campaign, automations, et cetera. And so I'm going to go to prospects here. And I just want to touch base really, uh, real quick on what a prospect versus a lead and contact. So prospects are what the people are called when they're in Pardot. And Pardot is a separate database than Salesforce. Um, and then once these people connect to Salesforce, then either they're a lead or a contact. So a lead is someone that is uh, more on the top of the funnel of the sales process. So prospects are just the marketing people and they may or may not be in Salesforce yet. Okay, and so prospects, I just click this button to add a prospect here and I will put their first name, last name, Email address, that is the only required field in the contact area or the prospect um, contact details area. Um, but as if you have more information, the better, okay? And you might wanna ask your Salesforce admin what fields are required. So say state is required and this prospect will eventually make its way over to Salesforce. You're gonna wanna add a state in this information. Okay, and it is gonna ask you your campaign. And so if you don't know what it is, it might be Salesforce created or just test. We'll just put test in there right now. So you'll wanna ask the person who manages Pardot um, what campaign this new prospect should be a part of. Profile will almost always be default. That is for a specific type of grading system. Um, I would say 99% of our clients um, have everyone in a default profile. Score will be zero by default. These other items, um, you shouldn't have to touch at all. Um, additional, um, I guess, if it is state, et cetera. So you're going to want to know if it is gonna be state, should the state be a two digit or spelled out? Because Salesforce can be very particular on that and reject it if it's a two digit when you want it to be spelled out. Okay. And then if you have custom fields in the area, they'll be down in their own little section, custom fields. And then lists, if you wanna add someone to a list right away, you can do that here. Typically we don't do that, okay? And then you just go ahead and create a prospect. I guess I should do this test at test.com. And okay. And I think that's all I need. And if you forgot to do something, it's going to tell you, we can't create it. Okay. So now created today, go, and there it is, test.com. Test okay. And it doesn't have the little cloud next to its name that tells us it is not in Salesforce. Okay. That's it for today. Have a great day.